there have been some rumors that maybe McDowell might be in line for a move from a four team to another four team at a seat opening up potentially to Stuart Haas, especially should Eric Almarola decide to retire like he was considering a couple of years ago. Uh, but at this point, who's to say Stuart Haas is that much of an upgrade from where Michael McDowell is now at Front Row Motorsports? He's been running very, very strong with that team this year. Uh, he, he's won at Daytona before. He could pull that off again and sneak into the playoffs that way. Still has an opportunity maybe to point his way in even. Uh, and he's also known for, for producing good results on road courses. We have more of those than we've ever had here. So, uh, Brandon, you look at McDowell right now. If he's in the top 16 after Pocono, Michigan, and Richmond, do you believe he's got a shot uh, making the playoffs here? Yeah, I, I certainly think so. And I, um, I'm thinking, like, if he upgraded to – Stuart Haas or maybe in the 10, because I really, I really think Eric Almarola will hang it up after this year. Like he originally intended to the, the ebb and flow of these teams being coming better and worse. Do you, like, uh, do you think Stuart Haas is more likely to bounce back more than, than front row? Like, I think they're gonna have a big, like the actually has a chance to rebound. Yeah, I, I think they certainly do. I know there's a lot of very talented, smart people over at Stuart Haas who just have to be scratching their heads in terms of where they are in performance this year. But again, you know, with, with how McDowell's been running and with how long he's been at Front Row Motorsports and the chemistry that he must have built up with that team at this point, um, you know, again, I mean, unless I see a very clear indication that they've put all their chips to the center of the table and they are ready to take that step forward and rebound uh, going into 2024, I know they're certainly going to be motivated with Josh Berry coming in uh, next year to replace Kevin Harvick. But I mean, again, you know, McDowell is running stronger in that car than anybody has previous to him. And, and then he ever has as well. You know, he got into the playoffs obviously a couple of years ago when he won the 500, but um, you know, it, it's been a fantastic year for him so far and uh, continues to get everything out of the, the equipment that he has. And uh, you know, again, you know, you look at what front row motorsports has done in the truck series as well. There's a lot of positive momentum, surrounding that organization as a whole. And I think some of that's bled over into the cup program as well. So, you know, again, I think McDowell might just be happy and content where he is uh, yeah. at this point in his career. And it's easy to forget how long he's been around as well. You know, the man's approaching 40 years old. So at this point, do you, do you really want to take, you know, a, a chance on a team that certainly doesn't have the performance that they've uh, been known to have over the last several years, at least at this point in this season, um, you know, he might just be content to, right off into the sunset for the next few years with his family at front row. And I want to give him some credit too, for that, that brand partnership with loves, like how, yeah. how gelling that's been as well. And then just credit for what he's put up this year. Only one DNF this whole season so far, one top five, five top tens, 12 laps led. That's a lot more than a lot of these guys in, in front of him on the playoff picture. And even the points picture can say he really has been trucking it back there. No doubt. Yeah, and again, to, to be in a front row car, and I believe, uh, Brandon, it sounds like he's got the standings up. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe at least at one point he was ahead of 75% of Stuart Haas racing in the championship standings. So, you know, that that I think speaks to both how strong front row has been this year with McDowell and also how much Stuart Haas have, have struggled, again, when you look past the fourth team and Kevin Harvick. And and again, you know, it, it's hard to predict what the dynamics going to look like next year. I'm sure Stuart Haas are, are putting all their – not all their eggs, but most of their eggs into one basket with that four car and trying to give Kevin the, the send off season that he deserves. Um, but again, when you look at the three other cars, you know, they certainly are not where they want to be right now. And I think everybody at Stuart Haas themselves would even admit that at this point. So there's a lot of work to do. We'll see what 2024 holds, but you know, if you're McDowell, I think, you know, front row might, might honestly be as crazy as this would have sounded a couple of years ago. Uh, that might be, a better option at this point, given the chemistry that you've already built there. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, uh, you're absolutely right. Harvick is the only one ahead of him in points and playoff projection. Yeah, there you go.